everybody, I am the Pigglesworth, and welcome back to Breakout. We're going to get out of here, I tell you. Yes, we are. We're getting cabin fever being in this small little room. <laughs> well, for those of you who are new to the series, this is a small mod pack that allows you to play a map that's designed in such a way you have to figure out quests to figure out how to break out of the map. It was suggested by one of the members of my Discord channel. And if you would like to join that Discord channel, links are down below in the description. So I made a little bit of a derp. I actually hit uh, hit record with my audio and I didn't hit record with my video and I I did something. I did something bad. Not really bad, but I did. I, I completed a quest. I'll back up and show you. So in the previous episode, we'd finished off right here and I went on to do this task and I made a stone hammer. And we're going to get awesome, awesome uh, pineapple pizza. Yes. And for those of y'all that don't like the pineapple pizza, I tell you what, just hand it over. I'll eat it. <laughs> there we go. Now we're just peckish. We're not hungry anymore. But to make, to make this stone hammer, we just do that, which is, which is awesome. It's super easy to make too. Have we gotten, oh man, we're getting all kinds of stuff. Dried up sugar cane. Sticks. Sticks and stones, I tell you. Stay away from my bones and don't break any of them. So what are we doing next? We got the hammer. Uh, I need to stop being distracted from the central problem of escape. Flint doesn't seem to be strong enough to work on this stone, so the best I can do for now is just hit one rock with another. A stone hammer gets me nothing but pebbles, but... Gets me nothing but pebbles, but at least it clears some space. So can I hit these? Oh! Okay, so it's it's going to break the stone away. Uh-oh, we got an andesite, polished andesite room coming up next. Can we break that? Nope. But we can break this. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Is it like every layer to the room... So right now it's not that big of a deal, but as we move forward, it's going to be one of those like take you an hour to remove the entire layer. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're almost out of that hammer. That went quick. So back it up. What do we got? Oh no, we got to decide do we want to go left or right? Let's let's see here. Let's Okay, mouse button, mouse wheel lets me zoom. That's awesome. That's as far as that goes. That goes. It doesn't look like this is going to let me know like how big the thing is going to be. It's just that it won't slide past that. Okay, so let's let's see here. What do we got here? Well, I'm exhausted and hungry. It's clear that breaking out of here won't be something I can do in an afternoon. So I need to find a way to feed myself. If there are worms in the water... Maybe there are tastier forms of life as well. Let's work on a new version of my strainer and a way to cook whatever I find. Okay, so this is kind of what we were looking at trying to do last time. So, let's see here. We've got enough cobble to make a furnace. See, it did it. <laughs> I saw that. One of these days, I'm going to figure out what it is. We'll pop that down. Um, let's see here. Let's get a little bit more light going on here. It feels like it's kind of dark. There you go. Light it up. Light it up. So we'll get our book. So we get a furnace. We have to make a bait pot. How do we make that? Looks like we're going to need to have some clay coming out of there. Bait pot. There we go. A regular pot with a wooden trap door. And is this normal? Three bricks. So we have one clay ball. Mm, we don't have enough for that yet. But I can make um, this. So we'll have our trap door ready. It did it again. <laughs> it's messing with me, I tell you. We got a piece of charcoal. Let's be smart about this. Let's go ahead and convert two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of wood into charcoal and we'll get that going wait a minute i could have used that bundle of sticks we'll uh you know what let's do that let's save the oak wood we might need that for something and we'll put 
We'll put you in there for now. We've got an infinite source of sticks. I think we'll be okay on that. Because, see, look, if I take eight more sticks. Okay, I'm going to hold shift. There, that's what's doing it. Force grid clear. Drops items if necessary. Okay, so if I do that and that. Okay, that's what's going on. So we'll do that. So that'll give us a little bit of stuff to burn. Do we have any more clay? Nope, not yet. Boy, I wish there was a recipe for making clay. Okay, so what's the what's the next one? A fisherman's strainer and cooked fish. We're going to end up catching fish and cooking it. So a fisherman's strainer. How do we make that? Back that up. Fisherman's. There we go. Dried up sugar cane. Okay, I saw that showing up in there. And a net. So we need three, six, seven, eight. And there's only four. You know what we need to do? We got ourselves uh, two more strainer bases. So let's let's go ahead and make um, two more nets, and we can triple our chances. What does a dense net get me? Uh, how do I do this? U for use, maybe? U for use. No. It's not going to show me what I can catch with it. But let's find out. Let's let's make one and see what happens. We'll make a dense net and a regular net. How about that? And we'll place you here. We're going to, like, stair step it. <laughs> do that. No. No. I think it keeps thinking that I'm trying to aim at the... Why is that not working? Are you going to go there? See, that won't go there. Oh, wait. Strainer slot. That's not working. That's not working. That's really odd. Hmm. Does it have to be up here, maybe? Let's see. Let's try that. Um... I think the, the flint axe will let me break you. Okay, you didn't disintegrate. I should have tried one before I did both. <laughs> Do we have any more clay? Okay, awesome. A little bit more clay. Place that and that. Let's see if that works. No, that's showing me that. Yeah, it still doesn't want to take the net. Hmm, we'll have to figure that one out. That's not making sense. But now we've got crazy water going on in here. And we don't have swim mechanics because we're not in 113. They keep trying to swim, but I can't. Okay, so let's just toss that in there for now. One more piece of clay, sir. Oh, gosh, not yet. Okay, so while that's going and we're waiting for clay and for enough sugar cane to make that strainer, a bait pot. Okay, we got the hatch that goes with it. Okay, so what else is here? Refreshed. Judging by the taste of the water, this stone has a high mineral content. After combining these stone pebbles into gravel, I can use a mesh similar to what I'm using in the strainer to sieve out some useful bits. Two pages. Two pages? I don't get it. Oh, it's showing me that there's uh, two things I have to accomplish, I think is what that's saying. Consume gravel, flint and flint stiffened mesh. Okay, so... Wait. After combining these stone pebbles into gravel, so I can make gravel? Let's find out. Gravel. Stone pebbles into gravel. Oh, that's right. It was it was stone pebbles around a piece of clay to make cobble. So if I do that, that should be gravel. Okay. That makes sense. Not really, but we'll go with it. <laughs> Although I guess it does. A, a, a bunch of rocks together is gravel, right? So a sieve. A, a sieve. A sieve. <laughs> How do you make a sieve? S-I-E-V-E. -E. We spell it correctly. That's the first step. C 
See, it's a good thing we didn't burn all those up. So, what do we need? I think we got everything. A sieve. Okay, cool. So, we can make that. Awesome. We'll place you down there. And what was the other piece? A flint stiffened mesh. So let's back this up. Flint stiffened mesh. Oh, so we have to make a regular mesh first. Okay, nine pieces of string. We got this. That's easy. So that's a mesh. And then what do we put? Flint on each side of it? I think that was. Like that and that. Flint stiffened mesh. Okay, so we put the, you here. Awesome. And then put gravel there. Nothing's happening. Can we get it back out? Can we jump on it? <laughs> oh, wait. Current progress 10. Oh, I right-clicked it. Oh, okay. So we have to... Ooh, what did I get? 10 ore? That's only one piece. That's not 10. <laughs> T-I-N, Piggy. T-I-N. So what did... Okay, so we got that. 16 pieces of gravel. Wait. After combining these stone into gravel, I can use a mesh similar to what I'm using in the strainer to sieve out useful bits. And it wants me to make 16 pieces of gravel. I think that's what it's telling me. Detect and submit, please. Claim. Thank you very much. Woohoo! And another... Yes! Awesome! Okay, so let's get that. We'll cook you. We're going to get ourselves some food going here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So we need just a little bit more. How quick is that going to cook? Said it burns for 1,200. Okay. So a piece of charcoal is going to burn eight items. So this looks like it's going to burn like probably five or six items. Is it just mirrors that seem like it's burning quicker? Which I'm fine with. I'm totally fine with. Come with me, please. We need you. That, that, and that. Is that right? Oh, no, we have to make the pot first. There we go. So that's the bait pot. So if I do... Oh, wait, no. We have to make the, the different net, right? So I only have four of those. We need four of you, sir. Four more. Four more, please. Oh, now it's going to give us all the clay. <laughs> All right, well, while we're still waiting for that, let's see what, what our next... Uh-oh. We're stuck. We're stuck with this. Making a fisherman's strainer. And I, I can we can do another water source, but I'm kind of like... Oh, wait. Oh, no, that wouldn't work. I was going to say, too bad we couldn't like get that water source down there. Then we could make that a puddle, or like we could fill this up with water somehow. Can we make any kind of buckets? I do have like an ore something. This. Tin ore piece. R for recipe. No. R for recipe. Andesite pebble. No, I think that's showing me the wrong stuff. Let's back out of there. Tin ore. Let's type in the word bucket. From iron, from iron ingots, from iron, from iron ingots, from iron. Oh, right click, Piggy. Come on, pay attention. Iron ore, iron ore chunk. Where does an iron ore chunk come from? Four iron ore pieces. Okay. Nope, nothing yet. Okay, so what it wants us to do... It, oh, I can hold down right click. I don't have to click it, click it. Now, how many different types of things are in this? And then the other question is, are we... What is that? Tiny coal, aluminum, and tin. Is that the only things available? Yeah, the other thing... Oh, what, is, what is that? Copper, okay. Okay. I'm wondering if it's going to make us hungry doing this. I've got... Was that two pieces? 
Yikes. We might be here for a little while trying to get... Where Where's all this stuff going? Are we getting any more? Because it doesn't look like that's filling up. See, sometimes it's not making a little click noise. So sometimes when we strain uh, gravel, it's not going to have stuff in it. Is that what it is? And I just thought of something. Okay, so if we click that, what did I see? It was pyrothium dust. So I've got this iron ore chunk that I can make. So we could go ahead and make that. But to get actual iron, I need pyrothium dust, which is sulfur, redstone, and blaze powder. Yikes. I don't even know where I'm going to find all that. So it's almost like a waste. <laughs> I can't make a bucket. All right, you're going to be like that. One more. One more. Come on now. We don't want to we don't want like a super long grinding uh series. All right. So what are we getting? Can we what can we build with these? Oh, what was that? <gasps> okay, so there's Oh, we're getting more stuff. Nickel, silver, aluminum, a heavy sieve. How did I... How did I do that? R for recipe, and it's showing me a heavy sieve and a regular... Okay, so these are the things we can get out of there. Flint, tiny coal, lapis, gold, iron, copper, tin, aluminium, lead, nickel, and silver. Nope, not yet. Just five. <laughs> All right, so i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here for just a few more minutes. I'm going to just go through a bunch of bunch of this gravel, and we're going to wait this thing out to get some more um, sugar cane. So that way we can move forward, because right now we're kind of stuck. So you're going to see a quick little edit here, and we'll see what kind of goodies I get out of this. All right, everybody. So I have managed to get enough dried sugar cane, and I tried something out. I went ahead and put some half slabs here to keep this stuff, stuff contained because I was just getting washed all over the place. That was getting old really, really quick. Let's see here. Let's break you and put you right there just so the room's lit up. Now, I figured out what I was doing wrong. I figured it out. I had nets, <laughs> but you have to put sticks around them. Come on, Peggy. If you're going to play modded, play modded, buddy. Okay, so we've got three of these running now. Looks like that one. Yeah, that one might be just about run out, which is good because we're going to need one here in a little bit to put one of these uh, fisher fisherman strainer things there. Okay, so let's see here. What It needs a regular net. So we do that. And then we surround you with that. Nice. So we got one of those. So if we put one of these here, can we take you out? And put you in. Bait required. Oh, we've got bait. Yes, we do. And let's go and put a bait pot in there as well. So now do we just wait with the bait? <laughs> more worms. There we go. Crank it up. We put more worms in there. We'll get more uh, chance for fish. Is that how it works? There we go. And I put a whole bunch more gravel through. Got some lead ore. That's kind of crazy looking. Um... I think we've got all the different ores now that come out of it. Swap these out and kind of rearrange them a little bit. Not that the organization's going to last, mind you. No, not that. Go there, go there, go there. Do we have fish? Not yet. Well, I might catch fish quicker if I actually started fishing in Minecraft. <laughs> Coming out of there. But what's really cool is with that one water source block, we are able to utilize three of these i if we could get around this andesite block then we could probably uh do four but i also saw this coal ore hitting it with my hands doesn't do anything and it's not harvestable and we can't get it required tool pickaxe we don't have a pickaxe yet 
And then if I use this efficiency meter, I can aim in that and right click. I don't understand why these two are not negative five and this one's negative 20. Well, if that one's negative five, then maybe we should do this. Oh, did you notice? I'll put it back in just a second. You go there, you go there. Bone meal. So bone meal was one of the things we got out of um, out of a fisherman. Oh, yes. Raw salmon or salmon, as some would say. <laughs> Cook you up and we can get ourselves an advancement. That will be awesome. And then we can see what's next in this, this book of adventures and quests and things. Cook salmon. Don't mind if I do. Still peckish, but not as bad as we were before. So that's good. Cooked fish. Cooked fish. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. It's gonna. It's not going to consider salmon cooked fish. Oh, man. Well, we still got some food out of the deal. That's for certain. I don't want a lily pad. Don't waste worms on lily pads. <laughs> I want to hold on to that for a dire circumstance. Ink sacks. I don't know what I'm going to use that for. Or for recipe. That's not going to show me anything. Can we do you? Wait. Okay, there we go. Raw salmon puffer fish. 42% for fish. Ooh, enchanted book. I can't use it. See, look, it's like a 4% for ink sacks and for for uh, lily pads. So really, really low percentage for those, and it gave me those. Okay, but there's one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, there's three different kinds of fish it can gather. So even though that says 42%, it's like, what, 42% divided by three or something? I don't know. So we might be here for a little while doing that still. And I'm starting to run out of cobble. Although we are getting some more clay. So I guess we could, do I have enough? Okay, we still got a good hammer. So I'm really curious. What's below us? More andesite. Okay. Well, we'll just keep opening up here. We'll make it darn near impossible to get up to the uh, stuff that's up there. <laughs> Maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we want to kind of go forward a little bit and keep the keep the level. Keep the floor level anyway. We'll give ourselves a little headroom here. Have you gotten a fish yet? Another stinking raw salmon. It stinks because it's raw. We just need a uh, fish. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm probably going to have to sit here for a bit so I can get that and then find out what's next in the quest book. Are we going to be moving on to more more things? I don't know. We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out next episode because this game wants to be stinkerish. But if you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. And if you want to see more of these as I release them, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to be notified whenever videos come out, make sure to click that notification bell. I'm going to sit here and wait for some more fish to show up. It's a fishy situation, I tell you. But I'm going to wait for some more fish to show up. And then I will make sure to hit record before I cook the fish and eat it so we can find out what's next. What's next, I say? We'll have to wait and find out in the next episode, and that's when I hope to see you is in the next episode.